Imagine yourself over 40 years old, looking back and reflecting on what technology has already brought to our lives. If you grew up in the United States, like I did, you probably remember when the internet was something new, cell phones were heavy bricks, and the idea of autonomous vehicles seemed impossible. Now think of an even bolder dream, the dream of flying like the superheroes in comic books or science fiction movies. Well, thanks to a Swiss pioneer named Yves Rossi and his jetpack technology, we are seeing that dream rapidly approach reality. If you follow technological innovations emerging in the United States and around the world, you know that personal mobility is constantly evolving. From the advent of electric cars to the development of autonomous vehicles, the next big leap could very well be personal flight. For those in their 40s, it's fascinating to see these innovations taking shape in real time. And the work of Yves Rossi, the Jetman, offers a glimpse of how the future of personal aviation may directly impact our lives in the coming years. Before we continue, subscribe to our channel and leave your like. It will help us a lot to bring more updates to you. Yves Rossi, who was born in Switzerland, began his career as a fighter pilot on the Mirage 3, one of the most advanced combat aircraft of its time. But like many visionary inventors, he wanted something more. He wanted to fly in a way that large airplanes didn't allow, something more intimate, closer to the flight of birds. And it was with this goal in mind that he spent over a decade developing his own jetpack. Now we know that flying is not new to Americans. After all, the Wright brothers, considered aviation pioneers, made their first flights in the skies of North Carolina. But what Rossi did was to transform the concept of personal flight into something entirely new. In 2006, he achieved what many considered impossible, flying with a jetpack under full control, powered by his own body, without the aid of an aircraft. For those of us living in the country of innovation, this achievement resonates deeply because it represents exactly what cutting-edge engineering and human ambition can accomplish. What makes Rossi's jetpack so special is not just the fact that it flies, but how it flies. The equipment is made up of carbon fiber wings, which are lightweight yet incredibly strong, and four JetCat P550 engines that provide the thrust needed to keep him airborne. These engines are typically used in drones, but Rossi's team modified them to allow a human to control the flight, something never seen before. In the United States, we often talk about disruptive innovation, the kind that completely changes the game, and that's exactly what Rossi did. Unlike planes or helicopters, the jetpack allows the user to control the flight with simple body movements, something that seemed to belong solely to science fiction. Imagine flying at 300 kilometers per h, maneuvering with the same precision as an experienced commercial pilot, but without a cockpit, without instruments, just the body and the sky. It's an achievement that goes far beyond what we've seen in aviation so far, even in a country like ours, which leads the world in space exploration and the development of advanced military technologies. To give a more concrete idea of what this technology is capable of, in 2011, Yves Rossi made a public demonstration at the Grand Canyon, one of the greatest natural wonders of the United States. He jumped from a helicopter at over 2,400 meters in altitude and flew through the canyon at more than 60 meters above the ground, reaching speeds of over 300 kilometers per h. Now for those who have visited the Grand Canyon, or at least seen the breathtaking images of this natural wonder, you can imagine the visual and emotional impact of watching someone fly over that vastness with nothing more than a jetpack on their back. This flight was a milestone not only for Rossi, but for the development of personal flight technologies. It was a clear demonstration that the jetpack was not just an experimental prototype, but something viable, and perhaps with the potential to change how we think about air mobility, both here in the United States and around the world. The question that always comes up when we talk about innovative technologies like this is, how can we make it practical? And this is where one of the most surprising and exciting innovations in the development of the jetpack comes into play, its ability for safe and fast vertical takeoff and landing. When Rossi first started, he needed a helicopter or airplane to launch his flight. Now, with VTOL technology, he can take off directly from the ground, eliminating the need for a support aircraft. For those living in the United States, this could have huge practical implications. Think about urban areas like New York or Los Angeles, where heavy traffic is a constant problem. 
With VTOL, the idea of flying over congestion in a jetpack to get to work starts to seem less like science fiction and more like a future possibility. There are already American companies working on flying cars and other personal air vehicles, so Rossi's jetpack fits perfectly into this ongoing innovation landscape in our country. Of course, like any new technology, the jetpack faces challenges, and the biggest one, for now, is energy efficiency. In the United States, where the transition to clean energy sources has been one of the biggest debates in recent years, it's impossible to ignore the environmental impact of these innovations. Currently, the jetpack's engines are powered by kerosene, which means flight time is limited, and the use of fossil fuels is still a reality. However, with the rapid development of new propulsion technologies and high-density batteries, it's only a matter of time before the jetpack becomes more sustainable and viable for large-scale use. As we've seen with the growth of electric vehicles, led by companies like Tesla, the United States is fertile ground for technological innovations that prioritize sustainability. Rossi's jetpack could very well follow a similar path, with future advances focused on increasing energy efficiency and reducing environmental impact. When we think about the impact of the jetpack, it's impossible to ignore its potential in the military sector. Here in the United States, we are world leaders in military and technological innovation and the jetpack has the potential to revolutionize the way we conduct military and rescue operations. Imagine soldiers using jetpacks to carry out reconnaissance missions in hard-to-reach areas, or rescue teams flying quickly to save victims in disaster zones. The U.S. Department of Defense has already shown interest in technologies that provide strategic advantages in the field, and the jetpack, with its ability to take off vertically and move with agility in challenging terrain, fits perfectly into this picture. Additionally, the use of advanced technologies like this could reduce the reliance on helicopters in certain missions, offering a faster and more efficient alternative for urgent interventions. And it's not just the military sector. For civilians, the jetpack could be an incredible tool in rescue operations during natural disasters, something that, unfortunately, has become more frequent in the United States due to hurricanes, wildfires, and other extreme weather events. Imagine the ability to access areas unreachable by land or sea, delivering vital supplies or evacuating people in danger. The agility and maneuverability that the jetpack offers would be a game changer in such situations. So what does the future hold? For those in their 40s who grew up witnessing the technological evolution in the United States, the development of the jetpack represents the next big step in a path that has already transformed our lives in many ways. From commercial airplanes to drones, from autonomous vehicles to space technologies, the idea of flying personally, like the Jetman, no longer seems like a distant dream. American companies are already investing in personal aviation technologies, and over time, we may see the jetpack becoming an important part of this revolution. Of course, there is still much to be done in terms of regulation, safety, and accessibility. But as we've seen with other technological innovations, what seems unattainable today can become commonplace tomorrow. Here in the United States, we are known for thinking big, for turning bold ideas into everyday realities. What Yves Rossi has done with the jetpack is a clear example of how technology can overcome barriers that once seemed insurmountable. For those who have followed the evolution of technology over the decades, it is exciting to imagine what the future holds. The sky is no longer the limit, it's just the beginning. As we continue to explore new ways to fly and move around the world, we can be sure that the jetpack will be a fundamental part of this journey. And who knows, in a not too distant future, we may very well see people flying across the skies of our cities, forever changing the concept of personal mobility in the United States and around the world. Before leaving the video, leave your like and subscribe to the channel to always stay up to date with the world's latest tech news, and share this video with more people. Leave your comment. Do you think this technology will reach the United States within this decade?